So I got to thinking, you know what doesn't make that much sense? Base is spelled like bass, but bass is but bass isn't spelled like base, and base is spelled differently than base, but base is spelled like bass. So base and bass are spelled the same, but base and base are spelled differently. Are you confused? Cause I am too. Anyways, guys, so uh, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something quite different. Um, I've got this new wiring set up cause for my computer that I got for my second channel behind me. Oh hey, look, it's a little tin can detector robot kit. Um, anyway, so I got that set up, and as you can see, my computer's sitting here. But I've got a bunch of wires over here that are laying on the ground, and I want to kind of tidy them up. And today, uh, if you watched my last video, you saw that I made a wiring harness for my amp, where I kind of took all the wires and zip tied them together. Now, I think I explained in that video is the reason why you zip ties is because you can change it later on. So, basically, you can take your pair of dikes like these and just snip the zip ties and you can change all of it. So, with tape, it leaves behind a residue and I really don't like leaving behind residues because it looks bad. And whenever you're trying to pull wire or mess with it, it makes your hand sticky and that's no fun for anyone. Um, so anyways guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do it, and there's just a couple little tips in there that kind of make it easier for you, so that maybe, you know, because I've done this a couple times, so, you know, maybe this will make it easier for you whenever you go to do it yourself. Um, you can do this in your home or in your car. If you're going to do it in your car, kind of try to hide it better, like inside trim panels and stuff. I mean, you don't have to, I don't guess, it just, I don't know, I think it looks a lot better, to be honest. Like if you're running an amp or whatever, then I think it looks kind of cool. Um, or if you're doing an RV and you're, like you're building an RV, RRV, RV, then uh, it kind of looks cool, but, yeah. So that's what we're doing today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this video, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, as you guys can see, oh, crap, there is quite a few wires. Uh, this isn't going to be all the ones that I do, but uh, this is kind of trying to get it into a basic format that you guys can understand. Let's get these to make me some room here. So, basically, let me kind of explain what I've got. So, I've got this wire ran to here, which is an HDMI. Okay, I had that for my computer so that I could use my TV as a computer monitor. Okay, that one, not really super important. But, um, basically, what I'm going to be doing with it is I'm going to be running it around because... What you've got to figure out here is uh, you want everything to look kind of uniform, right? So, okay guys, so basically you want to route your wires because right now I have this laptop set up on this desk. So you want to route your wires so that everything plugs into the, you know, appropriate side. So right now I need an Ethernet going here, my HDMI ports here, and my charge ports here. Okay. Now, it's fruit by the foot wrap, let's get rid of that. Uh, there's already a charger ran around here. I've already had it ran around here, and it plugs in right there. The next thing that we need to do is run this Ethernet back back around to it, and also that HDMI that I just pulled out from over there. So basically, we're going to do that, and that's going to be its own separate harness, okay? So it's not going to be ran in the same one as those other ones. I mean, they might, like, split off or something. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do here in just a moment. But uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and route everything right now, and you're from there. Okay, so I was just talking about how I ran all these uh, down and around. The one thing that I'm not going to be zip tying to it will be the um, with the power wire, because I take my laptop with me some places, and I'm going to need a power cord, so there's no need to zip tie it if I'm just going to be changing it out later anyway. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with the Ethernet now, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So to make this a bit simpler for you guys to understand, I have the Ethernet's running in out here, and I'm going to be going ahead and hooking this one in. So we have it going into port 3. And uh, basically, guys, these three are going to zip tie together. And, you know, normally I wouldn't do this if I wasn't demonstrating. I would just do it, you know, regularly. But you're going to need zip ties and a pair of dikes. So I don't know if I gave a tools list at the beginning. I might give it at the... I might... Then. Um, okay, so if you'll notice, I just kind of zip tied them all nice and neat there together. But the one thing that I did forget 
is the actual power wire. So, since I zip tied it, the mistake's pretty easy to render. Just put your dikes here, snip it, bam, the zip tie is now loose. Now you can fix your mistake. And zip ties aren't that expensive, so this is kind of just a cheap way to organize things. So that they're a lot easier to deal with. Okay, so now that I have, you know, the zip tied together, this isn't coming out. Basically, the power wire we're not going to focus on right this second because that's going to be ran in probably something completely separate. What we do want to do is we want to make these a good bit shorter, okay? So, there's one of two ways of doing this. The first thing you can do is you can pull this out because you already know that this is going to be sitting back there right so that's kind of what you have to keep in mind here is you know where it's going to be sitting but um basically you want to do the thing I was talking about with the loops okay and in that you're going to want to do something like this right here where you have it loop like this and then zip tie it like that this is basically just shortening the wire so that it's you know easier to deal with you know that's the kind of the whole purpose here is to make things easier to deal with so since it's kind of tight since it's kind of a tight fit back there i'm probably just going to be zip tying this a little bit and then you know kind of throw in the rest of it back there because it's such a tight fit but um Okay, so if you'll notice what we're left with, we have these three back here at the back. They're kind of tucked back there, so it reaches the computer. And we're left with these two, and this is our HDMI running across. So, these are our two um, Ethernets right here. And basically, we're just going to zip tie them together again. And uh, kind of taper them like that, so that they're nice and easy and there's no issues and uh, that will you know make them nice and tight and all together so that's what we're going to be doing now Okay, so as you can see, this is now one, so all of our Ethernets are together now. That's basically just my power from my computer. Like I said, I'm going to be leaving that alone because it's a laptop and I'm going to be carrying around a lot of places. Now if this was a desktop, obviously I wouldn't do that, but um, with it being, you know, oh I don't know what I'm putting that, with it being a laptop, I'm going to be leaving it alone. Um, so the next big thing is going to be this right here, which is basically just my power strip that I use to plug in my camera and stuff like that. So, <laughs> just going to be honest, pretty much all I wanted to do is, I just wanted to kind of sit right here. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. So I'm just going to be kind of zip tying this cord up so that it's kind of out of the way and there's not so much of it because it's kind of bulky and annoying right now. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Everything back here is looking real good. Got this tidied up right here. Nice and zip tied away. You know, honestly, and then this thing just quit working. I don't know. Probably going to have to do something else with that. But I'm not worried about it right now. I was just This video was just about getting these wires tucked away. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of doing that. Everything reaches. Um, everything looks real good. Got these running on the side. And, yeah. So, um, alright everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, be sure to dislike so that I can improve on my next video. Um, 
I know that this was kind of a short video and there wasn't a lot involved in it. And I've kind of been doing a lot of those lately. It's because, to be honest with you guys, the things that I want to do, I mean, it's kind of hard to do them in a week and get this video out. So, I am, I am still filming those things. They just take a little bit longer to get out. That's really all it is. Um, but yeah, guys. Anyways, I want to thank you for very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.